Have you ever lost your drawing file just because you forgot to save it or AutoCAD got crashed? In this video, I'll explain various methods in AutoCAD to rescue a lost drawing file. The first method is by renaming a backup file. Most of you must already be familiar with this method. But for the sake of others who are not familiar, I'll explain this method. Let me create a drawing. So I'll start with a rectangle command. I'll click my first corner over here and the opposite corner here. Now I'll save my file. I'll click on file and I'll select save as and I'll keep my file on the desktop. Now I'll give the file name as test. Now I'll save it. Okay, now you can see a file with the name test created on the desktop. Okay, now I'll continue my drawing. I'll draw a circle right at the center of this rectangle. So I'll give circle command and I'll go to point filters, dot x off, mid of this, point filters, dot y off, mid of this. And I'll give z as zero because I want the circle to appear on the xy plane. Just click to specify the radius. Now I'll just save the file once again by pressing the Ctrl S button. Okay, now the file is saved. Now just look at the desktop. Now you can see that along with the file test.dwg, the software has created a backup file that is called test.bak. AutoCAD creates a backup file each and every time you save your drawing. Backup file consists of the exact copy of the file prior to the last save. Only one backup file is retained at a time. That means the moment you save a file, the older version of the backup file will get replaced with the new version. You can open a backup file in AutoCAD after renaming it as a drawing file. So let's do that. I'll select the backup file test.bak and I'll just right click and I'll click on rename and I'll call this as test1.dwg. So I'll type dwg here. Now it'll ask you whether you want to uh, rename it. I'll just give yes. Now it got converted as a drawing file. Just double click to open it. Now you can see that this was an older version of our file. So even if you lose your drawing file, you can always restore the previous copy of it by renaming the backup file. By default, the backup files are kept in the same folder as that of the drawing file. But if you want AutoCAD to save the backup files in a separate folder, it can be done with the help of the move back command. If you want to access this command, you should have installed the Express Tools menu. In the latest releases of AutoCAD, this menu will get automatically installed when you install the software. I have created a folder with the name dwback on my e drive. And I want AutoCAD to save the backup files in this particular folder. So I'll go to move back command. I'll type move back. Now it'll ask me for the folder name. So I'll give the path. It is in E drive, E colon slash DWG back. Okay, so it has identified the folder. Now I'll just switch over to isometric view. I'll move the circle. Okay, through a certain distance. And I'll save this file. I'll press Ctrl S to save the file. Now let's go to E drive DW back folder. You can see that the backup of the text file is kept in this folder. So this is how you redirect the backup file to a user defined folder. So don't forget to press Ctrl S often when you work in AutoCAD. But it's likely that sometimes you might forget to save your file just because you're too much involved in your work. Is there any way in AutoCAD using which a drawing file can be automatically saved at regular intervals? Yes, that's exactly what we are going to see next. By renaming autosave files, you can do that. Autosave files are backup files which are created automatically by the autosave feature of the software. These files will have an extension of SV$. We can control the number of minutes between each automatic save and the folder in which these files are to be created. Let's go back to the drawing file. I'll just right click the mouse and I'll select options. Now I have the options dialog box. 
Here, the Open and Save tab is presently active. The Automatic Save is checked on this dialog box, which means that the Automatic Save feature is activated. Now, the time is given as 10 minutes between saves. I'll bring down the time from 10 to 5 minutes. That means my drawing will get saved in each 5 minutes automatically. The same feature can also be controlled using the save time command. Now, I'll just click on apply. Next, I'll go to files tab. And I'll expand the automatic file save location. Now here the location is given as e colon slash dwg. That means I have created a folder with the name dwg in the e drive. In this folder, the autosave files will get automatically saved. If you want to redirect the file to any other folder, you can create that folder in the hard disk and you can specify that folder here. Now I'll just give OK. After 5 minutes, the file got automatically saved in this folder. Now I'll just go to that folder and I'll check whether file is existing. I'll go to DWG folder and you can see that I have a file with the extension of SV$ which is saved in this folder. If the software crashes or if you abruptly exit from the AutoCAD software, you can always rename this autosave file as a DWG or drawing file and you can open it later. But if you save the file using the normal save, the software automatically deletes this autosave file. Now let's check that out. See, in the DWG folder, that file got deleted because you have already saved it. Okay, now I'll work on this file. I'll just give loft command and I'll create a surface connecting these two profiles. So I have selected these two profiles and I'll just give an enter and one more enter. Now you have a loft surface. You can just change the visual style to shade it and you can take a look. Now the file got saved automatically after 5 minutes. Let us just explore that folder again. Now you can see the file here. Now what I'll do is I'll just press Ctrl Alt Delete button simultaneously. So I've got uh, the task manager here and I'll just select AutoCAD software and I'll give end task. This will result in an abrupt exit from the software. Now let us just open the SV$ file. You can see that that file is retained here. Now I'll just rename it as a DWG file. Okay, now this can be opened using AutoCAD software and you can continue your work. So you should always set the save time to less than 10 minutes and you can recover most of your work in case your software gets crashed or you need to make an abrupt exit from the software without saving your drawing file. The next method to rescue a lost drawing is by using the Drawing Recovery Manager. When you launch AutoCAD after a crash, the Drawing Recovery Manager can identify what drawings were active when the crash occurred and displays those drawings and the associated backup and autosave files in a single interface. Using Recovery Manager, you can access and open all these files. And when you open these files, AutoCAD automatically repairs the database if it is corrupted and you can finally recover your drawing file. So I hope I have covered the various methods to recover a lost drawing file. So next time when you lose a file, don't panic. Try out these methods. You will definitely get the result. Thanks for your time.